Is your computer running slowly? Does it take forever to start up? Does it just act weird? It might be a repair costing hundreds. It could be a virus or malware that can really cause you problems. There is a slight chance you have some hardware in your computer causing it. I have seen it all in my 10 plus years of solving computer problems, but I have a solution. Before you take your computer to the repair shop, follow my seven simple secrets to make your computer run faster first. Here's the best part. It's free. It's simple. It's safe. Just go to RemoteTechAssistance.com for free step-by-step -step instructions on what to do. That's RemoteTechAssistance.com or click on the link in the description below. Hello everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to reinstall Office 365, or it's called Microsoft 365 nowadays. I'm doing this video because I encountered an issue that apparently has happened with other people that I know. I was unable to start Outlook up. And when I say that, I mean it locks up every time I start. I tried starting it up in safe mode, I've tried quick repair, I've tried online repair, but it was a no-go. So I'm going to show you the real solution on how to resolve this kind of problem. So when it comes to uninstalling Microsoft 365, it's easy to do. All you've got to do is go into the search bar and type in control panel and we gotta go there next we want to go into programs and features and we will want to scroll all the way down until we find Microsoft 365 English US but depending on the country it might be different so I'm going to click on uninstall, click yes, ready to uninstall, click uninstall. Now this part does take some time so I decided to speed up this process. Okay, so it is done uninstalling. Now even though it's not recommended right away, uh, you should restart your computer. So we're going to go ahead and go here and click on restart. Okay, so after restarting the computer, we will want to open up a browser. In this case, we will use Chrome. Then we will want to go to Microsoft.com. And we will want to sign into whatever Microsoft account your Microsoft 365 subscription is associated with. So for security reasons, I'm blurring out my Microsoft account information enter in the password as well and now that we're signed in we can go into our profile and click on my Microsoft account then we will want to click on services and subscriptions And then we will want to click on installs as opposed to this install. And here's why. When we click on install office, it's going to ask you what version you want to install. I like to download an offline installer because it downloads everything you need rather than using the internet to install office or Microsoft 365. Now it is a big file so depending on your network speed it will take time. I once again sped the download process up. Okay so now that Office 365 is done downloading we will want to go to the downloads folder 
and open it up right here. Then it will create a virtual optical drive. But instead, we will want to click on Office and either one of these setups, depending on what bit edition you have installed. Everyone uses 64 bit edition, so let's click on Setup 64. Now, one of the things about having to reinstall Outlook, one of the concerns is, oh, I'm worried that I might lose all my data and all my email addresses, and I'm worried about having to reset that up. Well, because you're reinstalling Office 365, and since this is a cloud-based program, you don't have to worry about having to redo all of your emails. It will be there already when you first start Outlook up after the reinstall. So once it's done, it's going to ask you if you want to install the mobile apps, but I don't, so I'm going to click on Skip. And now it'll tell you that Office is ready. So to confirm this, I'm going to click on Start and look at Recently Added, and you'll see that every Office program is there when we need them. It apparently doesn't like to show access in Publisher, but here's something cool. If you have already pinned the programs to your Start menu, you'll see they reappear right here. Now, I'm going to open Outlook just to confirm that everything is there and all of my emails are still there and it looks like everything is still there. But then, afterwards, you want to make sure you do Office updates as well. So we're going to click on Office Account, and it doesn't necessarily have to be in Outlook to check for updates. It can be in one of the other Office programs like Word or Excel or PowerPoint. Or it doesn't matter. So we're going to click on Office Account, and then click on Update Options, and then click on Update Now. And now it's downloading Office updates. We will want to close this so it doesn't bug us to force close any programs after all the updates are downloaded. Again, I wanted to speed this download process up because it does take some time depending on your network speed to have all the updates downloaded and installed. Alright, so updates are installed. I'm going to restart Outlook just to confirm that it still works. And there you have it. So Outlook, for sure, is fixed. Therefore, all the other Office programs are fixed, too. And just like that, it has been reinstalled and functioning properly. Thank you for subscribing. Please be sure to like this video and check out some of my other videos, too.